So we want to continue the solution of our multiple choice questions. So this is question 31 of the May 2019 paper. Given that one millimeter is equal to one over a thousand meters, then 2,500 millimeters in meters is so because we are converting from millimeter to meters we divide by thousand and we have 2500 millimeters so we divide by thousand this will cancel this then we will have 25 over 10 which is the same as 2.5 meters therefore the correct answer is this Now let's look at question 32. So item 32 refers to the following diagram, which shows a sector of a circle AOB such that AOB is 60 degrees and OB is R units long. So this is the radius of the sector or the radius of the circle. So the area of a sector is given by central angle of the sector, which is this angle, divided by the angles in a triangle, sum of angles in a triangle, which is 360, times the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So we were given the central angle to be 60, divided by 60, and that will give us 1 over 6 times pi r squared. Therefore, the uh, correct answer is option A. Now let's look at number 33. The volume in a centimeter cube of a cube of edge 3 centimeters is. So we know the volume of a cube is given by S cube, where S is the length of the edge. Now we are given that the edge length is 3 centimeters. That is, S is 3 centimeters. We just do substitution to get the volume of the cube to be 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters. And that will give us 27 centimeters. Therefore, this is our answer. Then let's look at the next question, which is 34. The perimeter of a square is 48 centimeters. What is the area in centimeters? So we want to find the area of this square. So we know that perimeter is given by the distance around the square, which is L plus L plus L, and that will be 4 L units. Since the perimeter is 48, it means 48 centimeters is called 4L. We can now divide both sides by 4 to get L is equal to 12. Now the area of a square is L squared. That is, you square the side length. And that will give us 12 squared, which is 144 centimeters squared. Therefore, the correct answer is this. Then, Let's look at the next question, which is 35. So we have this, which of the figures, which of the following figures not drawn to scale has an area equal to one half of five plus four times two. So we know the area of a trapezoid is given by half times sum of the bases or sum of the parallel sides times the perpendicular height. So we're given that the bases are 5 and 4. So we look for the trapezoid that has those bases. We have this one, this one, and this. Now the one that to distinguish it from the other two is the perpendicular height must be 2. So that is for this particular trapezoid. So the correct answer is option D. Now let's look at the um, 36. 
The area of a rectangle is 36.6 cm squared. If the length is multiplied by 4 and the width is halved, the area will then be so we have that area of a rectangle is length times width and we're told that the area is 53.6 cm squared so if the length is multiplied by 4 so that is 4 times the smaller one that is 4 times the original one then the width is half of the original one the new width is half of the original one then the new area will be length times width which is 4L times 1 over 2W so when we simplify this this cancel this and we are left with 2 times L times W and we know that this already has a value of 53.6 so if you substitute 53.6 over here we will get 2 times this and that will give us the value of 107.2 cm squared. Therefore, this is our correct answer. Now, 37. Question 37. Item 37 refers to the following diagram, which shows a sector of a circle with center O. So it means that it's a sector in the center, central angle is 60 degrees. If the length If the length if the length of the minor arc PQ is 8 cm so minor arc PQ this one is a minor arc is 8 cm what is the length of the circumference of the circle so we were not given the circle but we were given the sector yet we can reduce the circumference of the circle recall that the length of an arc is given by the central angle over 360 degrees times the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r so we substitute which was given that it is equal to 8 pq is 8 which is the length of arc so we substitute the strength central angle which is 60 degrees over 360 times 2 pi r so this will be equal to 8 is equal to 1 6 times 2 pi r now let's maintain the 2 pi r and multiply both sides by 6 to get 6 times 8 which is 48 centimeters so this is the circumference circumference is having a value of 48 centimeters and the correct answer is this now let's see uh, question 38 the area of a triangle is 30 centimeters squared and its base is 10 centimeters what is the height in centimeter of the triangle so we know area of a triangle is half base times height and we're giving the base to be 10 centimeters so let's substitute to get 30 is equal to half of 10 times the perpendicular height and you know half of 10 is 5 now divide both sides by 5 to get the height to be equal to 6 therefore the height in centimeters is 6 let's look at 38 so question 38 so 38 is what we just looked at now let's look at 39. Item 39 refers to the following diagram, which is the histogram, which shows the number of children aged 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 who took part in a survey. What was the modal age? So the modal age is the age with the highest frequency or the bar that has the highest height so from this we can see that the bar having the highest height is this bar and it corresponds to an age of 47 don't be confused with this one we are looking at the age so the modal age is 7 
Now, the correct answer is C. Let's look at number 40. 40. Item 40 refers to the following diagram, which shows the cumulative frequency curve based on the marks of 200 students who took a driving test. So, the median mark scored by the 200 student is so for us to determine the median mark we need to find half of the total frequency which is 200 so the median mark corresponds to half of the sigma f value so sigma f is 200 half of this value is the hundred value so we trace the hundred value note that each of these is 20 so from here to here is 20 40 60 80 then this will be 100 so we trace it until we touch the curve then we trace downwards and that will fall on 37.5 because one of the boxes we have one we have one two three one two three four five so 10 boxes here it means each of the box is four each of the box so 10 divided by 10 each of the box is one so we have we have 35 36 37 so 37.5 it is in the middle of them therefore the correct answer is is this B The, the, from the table, the hundred value corresponds to 37.5. So, continue in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also my second channel, Tutor Francis. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.